already in heaven. Because you're at poetic license. No, I'm just <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that wasn't anything. That wasn't a thing. Thank you very much. Thank you for showing up last minute to be able to oh. grace us with your poetry. Um, we're right about at the 5.30 mark, so I'm going to do two short poems to close out this evening. And they will be ones I chose from the Down in the Dirt September December 2021 issue collection book titled Stardust in Hand. It just totally looks like a hand grabbing a nebula. That's just the coolest thing. When I saw this nice image, I'm like, we've got to make that happen. And this first poem I was going to share with you, uh-oh, she's doing a periodic table po Twitter length poem, but it's short. And as I said, if they happen to have an image in it, they will appear in the book. But I made a point to also try to get them color to see if I can get for a bigger not that you guys can see this, but it's also, you know, if you look at the poem online, you will see it there as well. Anyway, this is titled Nitrogen Needs. You make me laugh. You make me strong. You even seep through my news. I, I thought I needed you, but now I beg to be free whenever you get under my skin. When you creep into my blood, I collapse, helpless. Why must I need you if you seem to hurt me so? <laughs> Last one. It is a little bit longer, but it is not a long piece because we're at the end of our time here. Ha <laughs> ha. And this one is titled Unwind and Revere Yourself. When I was so stressed out from work, from the weaker sex, doctors gave me drugs because the doctors thought there must be something physically wrong with me. So I got away for a few weeks. I went to visit my parents while they were still alive and I sat in the sun and I tried to unwind. And I realized that my stresses were what I ran from. So I decided then and there to stop taking medications and I mentally got rid of the things that hurt me. And it worked. Sometimes you can get away. Sometimes life seems too tough and you don't know what to do. At times like this, when your aura seems too weak, sometimes, sometimes you need to take a moment walk into a Buddhist temple and then not to revere a god, but to take a moment Remove your shoes and take a moment so that you can revere yourself again. I believe that was written for National Aura Day or something like that. So you try to find the events for it. But ladies and gentlemen, bots and goyles, thank you all so very much for being here <laughs> through the end of this April installment of Poetic License. I believe that the first of May is a Sunday, I believe. If the next Saturday, Tom Woodruff, is my wedding anniversary and the thing going on at Dripping Springs. <laughs> I think that's a Saturday, correct? Yes. So that would make the first, uh, uh, the previous Sunday would be, May 1st would be the next Poetic License get together. So I keep holding this book. Um, so I should be holding up the Women's Issues book that was just released, which I shared nothing from, that is uh, about women's issues and sexism and feminist poetry, the, with English poetry and translations into uh, Dutch, Lithuanian, Farsi. I've got poems translated from a man in Iran in this book. <laughs> I've got Spanish, I've got Hindi and Slovak and a Chinese poem even, called, titled Shattering the Glass Ceiling. This was released in March for Women's History Month, and I should share that all with you guys a bit more and be showing that book off. See, Farsi, I've got it in... I'm sorry, I'm like, what am I doing? I should be stopping this. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you all so very much for being here for this nifty, groovy installment of Poetic License. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you next month. I will have an event book page, and anybody on the list will get an email from me for the Central Standard Time Times. I'm sure John McMullen will send it in Eastern Standard Times for everyone as well. Thank you all so very much. Thank each and every one of you. And thank you, John F. McMullen, for hosting this phantasmagoric uh, Zoom meeting space. You guys are all double plus awesome. And I and enjoy as the weather gets better and I look forward to seeing you all next month. Smooches? Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you.